Morning YouTube. I was just cleaning the truck off. We got three inches of snow. You can see this little layer was yesterday. So we got three inches of snow this morning. And believe it or not, we got it in about 15 minutes. It really snowed like crazy about an hour and a half ago. So I come out to uh, see what I can do here. I'm having trouble with my plow. For some reason, when you put electricity to the motor, it pulls the plow to the right. It'll go up and down and I can turn it the other way, but the motor stays running and it's killing the battery. So the battery on this truck is uh, dead right at the moment. I need to uh, jump it. So I'm gonna clean off the car and then I'll work on that. Hey guys, I plowed everything of ours with the little red simplicity that I have over there. It worked good. I didn't have any problems with it. Um, this truck didn't want to start because the battery wasn't charged again. Uh, well, I think what happened was I charged it the other day, but it didn't charge it very long. And it started, so that's all I cared about, just to get it moved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start this truck. Let's see if this wires are out of the way. Yeah. I want to start this truck to make sure it runs. And then I'm going to let it warm up. My problem is... The plow can't go up or down or sideways because it deadens the battery to have it turned on. So what I'm going to do is just the way it is, it'll be just right to do the old guy's driveway quick. So I'm going to run over there after I get the truck warmed up a little bit. i got to warm her car up because, wouldn't you know it, she has to absolutely go into town today, which is fine. But I'm just saying, uh, you know, she has to go into town. So I'm going to warm that up, turn around and bring it down here and then... Uh, I'll get all this stuff going, then I'll show you where I'm headed when I go to plow over there. We're getting a little bit of flurries, and Sally said that we're supposed to get the same thing this afternoon that we got this morning. Oh, joy. Well, guys, I, I did the best I could do for today. It's really cold out. It's around 18 out. I um, left the plow down, left it angled. I just drove over to my neighbors and back. Um, I, I didn't clear the intersections as good as I would have normally, but, you know, I did it as good as the township does it. So, anyway, that's good for him. He'll be fine with that. And like I say, I did the rest of it with the small tractor. I had to get over here to the bird feeder this morning. I got out in those lights. Um, we, we've been out of bird feed and stuff. We, We've been holding off going to the store because we're trying to get our Christmas list together. And uh, that's why we've been waiting. But she went today. She had to pick up some groceries and stuff. So I'm not going to worry about that. But anyway, it seems like one thing after the other here. The problem with the plow is when you... Right now I have the battery wire from the plow to the battery unhooked. If I leave it hooked for some reason yesterday, all of a sudden... The plow started turning to the right, and you could turn it to the left, you could pick it up and down, but it would still always turn to the right when you took the weight off of it. So this um, thing here is what controls the right and left through the two hoses there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the valve that's underneath there. I'll probably replace that solenoid right away. And... Um, I, I checked some other things. I drained all the oil out of it just to make sure nothing was froze yesterday. I heated it up really good with the kerosene heater for probably two hours and nothing nothing changed. But it's not the switch in the truck. It's not the uh, um, wiring to the solenoid that's inside the hood, under the hood. But I'm going to put a new solenoid that's under the hood, a new solenoid on this, and then a new uh, valve underneath that um, horizontal turning uh, control because I think that's what's wrong with it. I might be wrong. I tried all the wires. I took all the wires off of it and it still does it. So it's obviously something inside there. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I um, have to order the parts for that. They'll be out of New Jersey. I don't know how long they'll take or if they have them in stock, but that's where I buy them. So, like I say, we got three more inches. Oh man, my, uh, I gotta clean that, um, I gotta clean the kiln off. I forgot about that. Let me grab a 
you know, all along now for about six or eight weeks, they've been calling for different kind of weather. And mainly they've been saying it's going to snow. It's, you know, what gets me is they say 90% or 100% chance of snow, and then you get a half of an inch. So this morning they said um, up to one inch of snow. And here it ended up being uh, three inches of snow. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not crazy either way whether we get the snow or not. It's just, you know, you expect it when you're um, in the country like this, especially on the top of the mountain. And uh, when you don't get it, it's a little bit weird. It feels like, you know, something didn't happen. So anyway... Wow, got ice underneath this thing. Once we get some heat in there, this snow will fall off of here, but can't leave it without any heat in it. It's only 50, 52 in there right now. With this uh, sun beating down on here for a couple hours. And it, the problem is it's 2 o'clock already, so it's not going to get much sun. The sun's way over there and it's pretty low already. But, uh... If I can get some heat in here, this will clean this off pretty good. Whew, man, it's hard working this with one hand. I'll get back to you here in a minute. Okay, well, that's about as high as I can reach with the shovel. But if you look at the thermometer there, um, it's already going up four more degrees. So I'm pretty sure that that stuff will melt off at her by the end of the day, whereas hopefully it will. Whew. It is cold out. It's supposed to get colder during the night and tomorrow and the next day, too. So maybe winter's here to stay now. I don't know. Let me just show you the difference here. This is the latest uh, weather thing. Uh, um, I'll just bring it up again. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. It's 24 degrees, it says there. I want to show you what it says on ours. Now this thing's sitting right in the sun. You can see it's 19 there. Okay, so um, 24, that would be 3. So it's actually 21, 2, 3. It's around 27 or 26 here. I thought it was lower than that. Uh, tonight it's supposed to go to 18. Yeah, that's right. And I think they also said something about 13. But it feels really cold out there because you can see there's a breeze with the leaves blowing and stuff a little bit started off yesterday again like the last one where it was a little wet that's why it's hanging in the trees and then that got warm and came out of the trees at least it's not that much in the trees so you shouldn't have to worry too much about anything hanging in there the snow is kind of weird to shovel because the top uh, two inches is okay and then you get into this real crunchy stuff it makes it hard for us to shovel when you're older but anyway, that's where we're at. You can see the sun is right there shining on this thing, so it'll be cooler once uh, the sun goes down. Wow, it looks like this dropped even more than they were saying. Like right now, they're saying a high of 22, that's this afternoon. Tonight, 6. A low of 6. Tomorrow, a high of 16, so it's cooling down pretty well. Low of 9, 22, 10. Well, it's not that bad. 29 isn't bad. So it's just going to be cool for a couple nights and then it'll warm back up again here. But these uh, guys here, National Weather Service, they've been having a heck of a time trying to keep up with this weather. Because every time they say something, it doesn't happen. Um, you see, it says this total daytime accumulation of 1 to 2 inches. 
that just came up this afternoon. This morning it said one inch. So I don't know. Tonight less than new snow accumulation one inch. And the snow as the sun is shining, so I don't see how they're gonna get two inches this afternoon. Of course it you know it changes quickly. So anyway that's what it's looking like for the rest of the week. We'll see. I was talking about the snow plow before. These are the parts that I want to get. So this is the C valve for the Myers E47. That's what I have. And it's a hundred and or $79.99. This is a C coil. I call it a solenoid, but it's a coil for the Myers E7 E47. And then I want to get this motor solenoid. Because it's either in the solenoid or it's in this valve, I think the problem. I would imagine that you could probably rebuild those O-rings on that thing, but I don't know. I'm just going to get the valve. Now, I just want to say to you, these prices are slightly higher, but if you see the name Smith Brothers Plow Parts, I buy from these guys, and I'll tell you why, even though the prices are might be slightly high. They're, they're not real high, so it's not like they're out of whack. They're just slightly high. But here's the thing, they have YouTube videos that are very good. The brothers themselves or their, their helpers or whoever's working with them actually made the videos right at their place. And the videos are pretty uh, good. Um, I, I watched a couple of them, so that's why I'm going to stick with these guys. You know, sometimes people are always running for the lowest price. I do myself, I'm not saying I don't. But the good thing here is I'm, I'm running for service all the parts I can get they usually send the stuff out the next day or so so it's usually pretty good um, I don't think there's too much snow in New Jersey at the moment so we'll see what happens but yeah that's what I decided to do so you're looking at a total of that and you know this is one of the things for me I don't mind paying to fix my stuff but when you're when what you plow is more of someone else's than it is yours you know sometimes you just it's not fair so I stopped plowing for other people I only plow for the old guy because he's old period that's it so I plow for him and I'm not plowing for anybody else because it just doesn't pay me they, they you know they, if somebody wants to hand you 50 bucks and they think that's okay you break a cutting edge and they're a couple hundred dollars and these roads around here are not exactly uh, blacktop, you know. Anyway, that's where I'm headed today. I'm going to be ordering this stuff. We see what happens. I'll make a video when I take it apart and put it back together and hope it works. I think it will. Hey guys, well it's 5 of 5, so it's about an hour, oh maybe an hour and a half later than it was on that last clip I showed. And you can see there it's 10, 12, 13, 13 degrees. So it's definitely going to get cold, colder. And having the sunshine on this before raised it up pretty good. I think it was down in the teens before, to tell you the truth.